Hello everyone, I'm Fanta Wheels and we're here with another MCSC episode. Today we're on Survival Games 4 and I'm using 1.8 this episode because 1.7 has been crashing my Minecraft lately. I'm not too sure why that is, but it just has been doing that, so I'm forced to switch over to 1.8. Uh, which fortunately my skin works. Um, I haven't been getting my skin to be able to work lately, I'm not too sure why. But I haven't seen it in ages and it's so good to see it back. It's just so beautiful. Um, I'm actually thinking of making a new skin, but, you know, that takes so long. I don't even know if I want to do it. Um, I don't know. M maybe I will in the future. Who knows? I I'm not really in the mood to make a skin right now, so I'll have to put some more thought and effort into it if I do want to make a new one. And obviously, that would involve a lot more, uh, redoing GFX and stuff like that, and I'm not in the mood, uh, to make myself some GFX. So, yeah, wait, yeah. I'm gonna hold off on that for a little bit, but I have an, an interesting and yet kind of stupid story to tell you guys this episode, so if you do want to hear the story on how I got hacked on Steam, make sure to tune in for the rest of the video, because, um, it's, it's kind of funny, I guess, in a way, and more than anything, though, it, it will definitely help you guys when it comes to getting scammed online, and how to avoid it, and the things that you should look out for. So before anything, you know, before you type fan, you're so stupid to fall for this in the comments, let me tell you, I know I was... I don't even know how how I was gullible, uh, gullible, sorry, gullible enough to fall for this um, scam, but I did, and I see what I did wrong. Okay, I don't need anybody to tell me how stupid I am, because I know you gotta be kind of kind of. Uh, I don't know what the word for it is. I don't want to call you guys. I I don't want to call anybody stupid if you ever got scammed, but like to get scammed, you you don't have to be like like you gotta be really unsuspectful and. I considered myself to be sort of careful when it comes to stuff like that, but apparently I I'm not, as you can obviously tell by my Steam getting hacked and everything, so, you know, it definitely taught me a lesson, and I want it to teach you guys a lesson too, uh, f so in the future nothing happens to you. Anyway, enough about the rambling, let's get on to the story. It starts off by me solo queuing into a game with n without anybody else, because nobody... None of my friends were not at the time, so I decided to go ahead and risk it and solo queue and hopefully have some good teammates, you know, because obviously if you solo queue, you don't really know who your teammates are going to be, so it's, it's kind of a gamble in a way. Um, but I did, I, I solo queued, and my team actually turned out to be sort of decent. Um, you know, for the most part, it was me and this one other particular guy who were uh, carrying, I guess you would call it, uh, carrying the team. Um, we kind of destroyed the other team, uh, mostly because of uh, the teamwork between us two. Everybody else was kind of just like, oh, yeah, here's a kill every once in a while. Anyway, that's not the point, however. Uh, the guy, he was really mature. I was like, dang, I need to add this guy after the game. He, he's, a really, he's really good at this game, and, you know, it, it'd be cool to have him in my queue. He might even be a smurf, too, but I don't, I don't think he was a smurf. I just think he was sort of decent at the game. Uh, so I did. I added him as a friend, and he was like, sure, let's go play a game. Uh, you, you seem like a cool person as well. Um, he started being really kind to me, which I should have suspected was a way to gain my trust, but I didn't. I, I didn't think of this guy too much because I haven't got scam. I, I didn't haven't got scammed in such a long time at that point that I didn't really worry about it too much. Um, but he seemed like a really nice person, really mature and everything. Ooh, Sleep Pie sponsored me. Hello, um, <laughs> Sleep Pie. He, this guy, this guy actually made all my GFX, Mr. Sleep Pie over here. So big thanks to him. Uh, for sponsoring that as well. Uh, so yeah, we, we made another game. Uh, we joined and we won. We completely destroyed the other team uh, once again. And we, we ended up having a lot of fun. So, oh god, no, 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 please. No, 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 no. Okay, he doesn't have a bone arrow, does he? Okay, I don't think he does. We're good. Um, so, we won the game. After that, he was like, hey, can I invite my buddies over? So, I was like, sure, sure, go ahead. And this is where, it starts, uh, where stuff starts getting a little bit suspicious to me. Um, the, first of all, they were like, hey, do you want to go on a, uh, on, on a program to talk to each other so we don't have to use game chat? And he, he, I was like, sure, sure, sure. What do you want to use? You want to use like, Skype or something? He told me, no, 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 not Skype. I want to use legacy comms. And I said, what in the world is legacy comms? And... He told me it was sort of like team speak, except it was a better and, you know, a bunch of other bullcrap that wasn't even true. By the way, guys, le legacy comms isn't even a thing, so don't even bother searching it up on Google. Uh, <clears throat> so basically, what I did next was I searched leg uh, legacy comms on Google. I did not find anything 
and I was like, hmm, this, this is kind of weird. Why, why is it not popping up? And you know, they, then I just figured I I type it I typed it wrong or something like that. Uh, so they gave me a link, and for a while I was debating whether I should click it or not because I realized, wait, it, it's not popping up on Google. These guys, they they're really kind of pressuring me into getting this. Why why would they be doing this? And uh, it's at this moment in the in the scam that you should start realizing okay this is most likely a scam i should get myself out of this i don't want to be scammed out of my, all my items um uh, and you, you just completely leave don't even bother uh you know trying to trying to accept them as a friend anymore or talking to them ever again unfortunately though there's points where like you i, I couldn't really tell myself what to do um I was kind of in a way, and by the way, thank you for the sponsor, Lapis Warfare, Dan, uh, he's, oh, I was about to spoil something for you guys accidentally, whoops, never mind, um, but you see, at the time, I didn't think anything about these guys, I just thought they were kind of trustable, so I decided to go ahead and click on it, and the thing about this link is that as soon as I clicked on it, nothing happened, it was a blank website with nothing on it, other than just some random text, um, not even that, it was literally just a blank website, uh, and, you know, ne two hours later, next thing I know, all my items in the inventory are completely gone, so, if there's anything I learned about this, honestly, is that you can't trust anybody, no matter how nice, no matter how much sure they appear to be to you, no matter what they do for you, even, e even if they do nice stuff to you, even if they give you free money, even, uh, it could all be just uh, uh, something to prepare for a scam later on to gain your trust, of course. But anyway, that's pretty much the story. Go ahead, feel free to call me a, a, an idiot in the comments. I know I'm really stupid for falling for something like this. I just did, and you know what? You don't really know how it feels like until it actually happens to you. And al Although sometimes you can swear to yourself, okay, I'm never going to get hacked in my whole life. I'm not that stupid. Sometimes it just happens, whether, whether, like, you may be completely, like, unconscious about it, too. Sometimes, uh, there's really clever hackers out there who, uh, put download link or like, suspicious links, um, they just hide them, and they, and it's sometimes li literally impossible to avoid getting, uh, hacked. Like, I, I know a couple of friends on Steam that have gotten hacked out of their accounts, uh, just completely random, not even, they, they didn't even click on a link or anything. All they did was accept a friend request, and... You know, next thing you know, all their items are gone, so... You can't really trust anybody. And... The biggest advice when it comes to CSGO, or not CSGO, but just Steam in general, and not only Steam, just other stuff in real life. If you know that you have valuable stuff, if you know that your stuff is worth a lot of money, keep it safe, and if you don't know someone, if you don't know what who somebody is... Oh my god, that was such a cleanup. <laughs> That was that, that was something right there. These guys are probably raising right now. <laughs> but if you don't know who somebody is, don't let them get close to your personal information. Your inventory, nothing. Don't let them see what you have. Like, just nothing. If you get a re friend request from this random stranger saying, Hey, uh, can we trade? I'm going to send you a, a, a trade request. Uh, d don't even accept like stuff like that unless you know who the person is and he and he asked you to trade earlier on in uh, CS Gold Lounge or something like that. Um, I'm sorry for the for these terms that you may not all know, but um, you can't really trust anybody. And before you're going to do anything, you got to interrogate them. Like, let's say they, they post a link. Uh, you can be like, hey, what's this link for? Are you sure this is not a virus? A scammer, you know that it, it, it's a scam when they start getting nervous. They start seeing all these dumb excuses on why different stuff happens and why it's not a virus. You can easily tell sometimes. So if you're unsure about them, interrogate them more. Uh, ask them more about something. Make them feel nervous. Make them feel guilty about what they're doing. Unfortunately, though, guilt is not something that much scammers feel and that's the sad part about the internet that <clears throat> a lot of people it seems like they have no feelings about uh, a lot of stuff they do like for example scamming obviously they try to be your friend for a little bit and then completely backstab you this is just how heartless some people are on the internet just they just don't give a crap they're greedy bastards who want money and want easy money and want, want it the cheap way i guess anyway that was a bunch of rambling right there i am i don't know if you guys got off track there hopefully you watched till the end of the video and if you did congratulations because that was just a bunch of a um, bunch of different 
talks about different things and um like i kind of stuttered here and there and that's because this is my um i haven't commented in such a long time it's it's kind of hard to keep up with the flow and stuff like that so once again if you did like this video go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you want to i'm fan of wheels and i'll see you guys next time